this method can help answer key questions in the field of reproduction and endocrinology and are applicable to the study of polycystic ovary syndrome or PCOS and hyperandrogenism. The main advantage of this technique is that it facilitates a consistent, uniform, long-term release of hormone in a cost-effective way. Demonstrating the procedure will be Ping Xue, a technician from my laboratory. For dihydrotestosterone, or DHT, pellet preparation, use a razor blade to cut a 15 millimeter piece of silicone tubing and use a 3 milliliter syringe equipped with a blunted 20 gauge needle to inject 2 to 5 millimeters medical adhesive silicone into one end of the tube. Allow the tubing to dry overnight and check for air bubbles on the sealed end. Wearing the appropriate personal protective equipment, Pour DHT powder into a plastic weigh boat in a flow hood. Impress the open end of the adhesive cap tube into the powder. Using a large, straightened paper clip, tamp the powder down into the tubing until the DHT reaches the appropriate experimental depth. Then seal the open side of the tube with silicone overnight. The next morning, cut each sealed side to obtain a 2 mm length of silicone on both sides of the DHT and no DHT control pellets. Then store the pellets in a 50 ml conical tube wrapped with...